our name is not in geniuses just because. We always try to find the most genuine way to look at different things. I already repeated myself too much, but our solution, your solution, our way to look at this problem, this issue, we're like, nah, you know what? Let's turn it around. Yeah, and that's where we talk about Kevin. Yes, you the master. <laughs> the master. Yeah, seriously, he he's a he's master. My master. <laughs> if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have these cool ass designs. Mm -hmm. And it was a struggle, let me tell you that, because I did yeah, reach so out. Yeah, so before we talk about Kevin, yeah. I did reach out to different other barbers, local barbers, you know, trying to say, hey, you know, I have this going on, that you know, send them pictures of both spots. And uh, is there a way you can incorporate a design, you know, to make it a little bit nicer, you know? And one of them was definitely a no, because his answer was that, you know, if it looked bad, it was his reputation and his work. I said, you know what, that's fine. You don't feel comfortable enough maybe to do a design like that that's fine because it's not a clean canvas they call it right mm -hmm. so then there I go to another um, I reached out to another barber and um, he, he just said he don't do women hair and that kind of hit me like what the <laughs> you know like I did ask my regular uh, hairstylist like hey Ramon can you do something with this He's like no you need to go to a barber for that you know so, um, you know, when regular scrolling in Instagram, I'm over here looking at my, my novio, pero no sabe que es mi novio, Frankie J. And he posted that he had just gotten a haircut, right? So I'm over here like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I look at the barber's Instagram, and first thing that caught my attention is he was cutting women's hair. Like, there was a picture of a blonde girl that he was cutting her hair you know short hair and I was like okay so he's not gonna give me the excuse lame ass excuse that you don't do woman's hair cuz he obviously has done woman's hair so I reached out to him and me knowingly knowing that he's all the way to San Diego when we're here you know in Orange County I'm like I don't care if I have to drive all the way down there to get something done here right so I reached out to him through, you know, private DM and I sent him pictures of, again, my bold spots and I told him, you know what, like, I would like to incorporate a design, is that something possible, like, what do you recommend? So he was so nice off the bat, like, yes, you know, if you need me to recommend you someone out there or like, how do you want to approach this, right? So I'm like, no, I want you to do it. I mean, I don't mind the drive down there if it's... If, you know if you're gonna get something done so he's like yeah come along he gave me an appointment we went down there I took my support group you know and I was very nervous actually um, I remember that morning making my hair my you know I'm like touching it like it's the last time I'm gonna touch my long hair on this side and at that time it was just on one side though yeah it was, I had barely had um, I had in January the injections the last session of injections that I had for this bold spot and I was like well I did have very little on this side but apparently like I, I, I know I still have a little bit on this side very minimal like you can't really tell but this one was the one that it started like again like a dime size it started getting a little bit bigger and now it's that big I don't know if you could tell the little circle right there um, but I was so skeptical, like, oh my God, like excited, mixed emotions, you know, like this is going to be a new look for me. And it really took balls to let go of that, you know, side of my hair and having to get used to maybe doing my hair this way now. So this whole half red, half black was pretty much gone. And I've had that look for years. And prior years to that, I had my hair red and black on this. I mean, it's always been red or, or black, but 
just letting go of that it it took a lot so there we were and he just zoop. worked that in and it's he's such a pro uh, Kevin uh, you should visit him he's down in San Diego we already mentioned down at the California Barber and Beauty College yes you may be wondering ah, it's just a college oh no 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 oh, this oh, ain't oh. just any college it's the look him up best whose college. hair did he do Frankie J oh and in case you're wondering yes the address of the California Barber and Beauty College tell him we sent ya no we're not getting any incentives <laughs> so he's down at 5315 El Cajon Boulevard San Diego, California, 92115. So, Kevin, thank you very much. I know I haven't been so verbally expressive and thankful, even though I do appreciate it. I give him the thanks for the wonderful top notch work you've done on this. And it makes me really happy that, thanks to you, you have been able to lift up your spirits that emotional devastation in which you were in and thanks to you now again we're looking at life differently now we took the negative to the positive now we're back on the skateboard we're ready go to go out there ready to go eat shit again because that's how we learned going through these and there's so much more you can do without having having a loved one in your life uh, there's so much you can do on dealing with something that doesn't really have a solution if you just give yourself a yes. minute to think and how you can look at it differently it, it's just gonna mix at the long term obviously things don't get fixed overnight in the long run you're gonna see a so much better you're gonna look at life so much positive sorry i still barfing up my my, my, and, I, my and like you mentioned earlier you know like you always try to reach out to that Excuse one me. person you know for either emotional support and advice you know all these things and i think one of the persons that i actually remember literally crying to over the phone because he doesn't even live here in california it's a drink um, when I first noticed the bold spot and then I noticed the second one he actually saw my face when I had all these peeling he actually recommended me this wonderful cream that I applied before my makeup so it wouldn't do this whole nasty makeup stuff that I was going through and makeup artist let's just say because people are wondering who the hell is Cedric <laughs> he's another professional makeup artist he is so professional can we say yeah that he he is uh, the makeup artist for the squad of the cheerleaders of the Broncos. Bam! Yeah. Right there, bro. <laughs> so yes, uh, we've been very fortunate that we have these contacts. We met Kevin, of course. Um, Cedric, Cedric was the one that actually gave me the idea of shave it off. If it's bothering, shave it off. Let it go. Be free. Like, why you gotta be hiding it? Why you have to, you know, be going through it in secret? just be you and f everybody that doesn't like it you know and mm -hmm. he actually helped me you know with the whole psychological emotional nasty dark state that I was in you know you know and uh, and it sucks again and, and forgive me because I'm not so emotionally supported when it comes to these things just just cuz I don't know I don't have all the answers so sometimes I just prefer to stay away from that issue because I, I feel like I'm probably going to make it worse by trying to give you an advice that I may sound ignorant at the time. So we're very fortunate that we have those friends and then that we ran and we met the God, the hands of God, of Kevin. Kevin the uh, master. <laughs> yes, because if it wasn't for these people, for these individuals doing God's work, on what we can how, and how we can make and implement into our own individual issues I, I know you'll have that one person out there it, it just 
takes a simple text, a simple call to reach out. Thank you, Kevin. Thank, Thank you, thank you so you, much Greg. for helping my self-esteem and bring Liz back pretty much because I was in a very dark hole. I was in a very deep depression and my self-esteem was literally all in bad, bad, bad. So something I couldn't do. Something, again, because I didn't have the answers I, and I didn't and, know how and to his approach support, it. His support was very essential too, you know, like his constant, you're, you're, you're pretty with or without hair. I still love you, you know, feeling that I actually belong to, you know, that love that he actually gives me because I know that it is frustrating for you to to see me cry when I actually have my you know my moments of where I'm frustrated because I'm in pain I'm hurting it's itchy and you feel so frustrated because you can't really help me because I don't and have the answers and and yes it it, it feels like well, why am I even in your life not necessarily as a relationship but whether it's a, a relative, a, a friend, a friendship, like, oh, God, you wish you can do something, but, and it is really frustrating that you just, you, you feel helpless, because you don't have the answers, you, me, the, my person, I, I'm not the person to really reach out to my friends, I, I'm not so very, I, I suck at being emotionally supportive, I, I can pretty much tell you, yes, I'm there for you, I, I call me whenever you need and those words may sound very simple the way I say them and they they may not mean much because like they say actions speak louder than words and my actions not that I don't want to but I, I just sometimes I don't know how to approach it and it just takes maybe one more individual like Cedric like the hands of God okay. Kevin to come in and and pretty much kind of give us a slap on the face and and get, open our eyes and say hey do this instead you, you can look at it that way you can do that instead and that goes for all of us whether, whether we're not uh, emotionally approachable or whatever the case may be with each one of us we, we all have flaws we, some of us don't know how to vent out vent out on them some of us don't know how to express it. Some of us don't know how to support, emotionally support someone. And that is a challenge. We all have a challenge and, and it's just the, the struggles of life, pretty much. Yeah. But thank, thank you for Kevin and thank you, Cedric. Thank you to those friends that you really know who you are that has you know been there at the appointments with me that have held my hand while I'm getting those injections and have dealt with me like you you know after the injections it's it's a process and and like I said I don't think that I would be where I'm at right now if I didn't have all that support and yes there's times where I actually like wonder myself like is there anybody out there that actually understands what I'm going through you know and that you can say I'm holding your hand I'm here for you but you don't really feel what I feel you don't really know like exactly the pain that I'm going through and you know even at work my co-workers are so supportive too because yes there's days like recently like I said I had to shave this out of my head and take it to another level like we said at the barbershop because this side has been bothering me a lot and you know eventually if the front of my hair is gonna fall off then you know if I have to go bald I go bald you know we'll turn you into a monk <laughs> you're not gonna be bald we'll turn you into a monk like and I told that'll Kevin, be another approach we'll like do I, then like I told Kevin we'll do what we'll pull a Frankie J do <laughs> yeah well there's always a solution but yeah I mean if there's anybody out there literally that needs that talk that you know support just you know someone you can message I'm here because I know exactly how it feels to be going through it alone and in silent and you know the embarrassment and I don't want nobody to know I don't want them to feel sorry for me you know like some of some of my friends have actually told me oh you're changing like no I'm not changing I, I have been very distant to very many people you know in the past year 
and you know recently too because they don't know what I'm going through and yes I'm not you know being distant because I want to be distant or because I'm changing or you know I did go through this whole weight loss journey which we'll talk about in another video um, and the reason why I did it it's because of how much weight I gained with all these treatments and you know being called if I'm pregnant like oh yeah you're pregnant like <laughs> no I'm just fat you know like little things like that that you know I've had to actually go through and you know trying to explain people that haven't really been you know there for me in my life this past year and a half that yes maybe I'm changing or maybe I have changed but I have changed because yes I have been going through this process because yes I'm probably sometimes irritable like because I'm in pain I'm frustrated you know um, I'm over here instead of being down here in my um, state of you know being calm or not calm but that is the reason why and you know me myself trying to teach carnitas how to level out those emotions it's really hard to to eventually come to that positive state of mind to eventually turn all your negative shit and ugly shit into beautiful art you know that that's exactly what you know Kevin did and I told him from the beginning like you literally just ripped out this ugly ass page from this book and you turned it you know into a new one and you know taking it to the other level like sometimes I don't even know how to do my hair you know <laughs> I'm like I gotta find new ways because if I flip it this side I don't show this one over here that looks cute and then if I flip my hair on this side you can't tell the one on you know what I mean just so, it all up. And again, if, you know, with all these that I've going through, um, or that I've gone through, better said, um, if there's anybody out there that needs that support, that talk, that message, you're not alone. And that's something that I, I actually felt very alone going through what I'm going through. Um, there is support groups. Yes, there is, you know, a little community of us out there, but, you know, any type of hair loss, it's, it's very, um, emotional draining. And I do want you to know that, you know, whoever you are, if you're out there, you're not alone. And if you don't have that special person that, like we just said, if you can't reach out to anybody or you just don't feel comfortable enough reaching out to someone that you actually know, you know, we're here and... I'll be more than happy to, you know, talk to you, video chat you, whatever it takes to get you out of that darkness because it's hard and it's very emotional wrecking. Like I said, I could have taken the approach of, you know, start cutting myself or, you know, going through another type of extreme to alleviate. Only to addiction. Yes, exactly. Going through, you know, trying to alleviate the pain with another thing, you know. And I didn't go that route quite. It was hard to not to. Because, yes, it is, if you really think about it, you know, my own body is betraying myself. And I could be harming my own body if I really want to look at it that way into when you're in depression and when you're in a negative state of mind. I could have gone that route easily I was starting to slip into that but you know thanks to those people that actually like I said very few knew about it actually kept me afloat and I'm here if you need that because it is hard in yes you're not alone even though you feel alone there's yeah. always that one person that will lift your spirits up it may not just be a hair loss thing it may be anything it can just be a weight gaining problem yeah no you're not fat maybe you have a problem an issue that medical your doctor issue. a yeah. medical issue that your doctors have not been able to figure out that probably you have no clue about that you have an issue and I mean I, I don't, I'm not gonna go talk about this because this will probably be another video but my, my hearing loss on my ear, right ear like five seven years ago it did affect me if many of you don't know but I, I was a musician and how good is it a musician with hearing loss so it, it can be so many things 
that you're probably not aware of. And of course, it kills your ego. It kills your self-esteem. It, it kills it, your persona. Yeah, there's not much you can do, but we're here. Everybody's out there. Don't be shy to reach, and and just reach out to those you feel comfortable with. Not not the ones you feel intimidated, but oh, what are they gonna say? Or don't reach out to those who you know obviously are gonna tell you something you want to hear. Exactly. Because that's that that could also be that that could also have a negative impact, impact. for for you to try to reach out for for your bestie who who you know it's gonna tell you what you want to hear and that no. sometimes is not the best thing and honestly that is one of the reasons why I kind of isolated myself you know through all these process people have told me you know because besides all this you know going through the whole weight loss journey I've gone through which that'll be another video that we'll talk about um, and the reason why I did that surgery for the weight loss is obviously because of this but people told you know I've, I've had comments like oh you, you don't look like yourself you're not yourself anymore like you're changing like what is wrong with you and <laughs> and no you don't know yes I'm changing and yes this has made me change and isolate myself a lot because of stupid comments or negative comments that I've got like you're you're getting weight um, one of my friends even told me if I was pregnant like oh like oh whoa you're pregnant like no I'm not pregnant I'm fat you know yeah and it's and, not so much about how sensitive you may be it's not about how of a thick skin you have it's just again when you get caught in an instant shock like oh crap again Going back to my example of when you're involved in a collision, like all of a sudden, like, oh, you. what happened? Like, you don't have the answers. Nobody has the answers. And yeah, so I did isolate myself. Yes, I did, and that was my own self of mechanism to cope with what I was going through. Like I said, I did withdraw myself from a lot of people that I actually was very close to back then, and it was just mainly because I was embarrassed. And yes, I was going through all these, you know, changes and this process, painful process that I'm actually going through. And yes, I have changed and I have changed in a good way. I have changed into making, trying to make this into a positive thing. And if you like it good and if you don't, I'm sorry, you know, it is what it is. Life makes us change and life puts things for us to deal with so we can either grow or you're gonna be stuck in one place and we don't want to be stuck I want to grow I want to be a better me and if this makes me be a better version of me even though I have flaws because everybody has flaws but I've been trying to take these flaws into don't forget a flaws flaws <laughs> these flaws into something positive into turning it into something that would actually expose me now because by me doing this people do ask me you know once it starts growing the design kind of goes away i'm left off with the bold <laughs> spots you know so yes people ask me and and i'm actually very proud to say yes i have a skin condition it's a very rare condition and i try to educate them but it is very draining to be having to repeat myself over and over again and having them give me their little remedies that I have already tried and <laughs> they're useless you know but at oh the end my, of the day my darling just go home heat up a bowl of potatoes put three scoops of butter and make sure you put a full spoon of sour cream and mix it with some chopped onions and once you microwave it for 10 minutes, go ahead and plaster it on your head, on your bald spot, and that will make your hair grow. <laughs> so anyway, thank you to all of you. Thank you, thank you. I, I cannot express how grateful I am and the level of gratitude, gratitude I have for all of you. Thank you. Yes. 
Hashtag you're not alone. Hashtag carnita set. No, that's hashtag set. Cedric set. Yeah. Set set. That's ha hashtag. Hashtag useless sapation. <laughs> Ay, tampoco. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> so thank you again, everyone, Cedric, Kevin, and everyone else who has made it possible for us to stay afloat with Ingeniuses because there's nothing that makes us more happy than for us to have the opportunity to be able to come through your phones, through your computers, to do our best to give you a smile, at least a little smirk, and to make your day brighter and better in any way we can. Thank you for, for all of the all of you, every single one of you, I, I can't, there's no way I will never finish with this um, <laughs> video if I start naming every single one of you. For those who has given us a single thumbs up, a comment, a friend tagging, a and share. everyone, a share, every single one of those interactions means a lot to us. I want to give a special shout out to Short and Tall, I think it's her name. Short and Tolls 256 uh, for giving my if I have the username wrong but thank you girl for giving us all the love you're always there um, following us keeping up with our posts giving us some love loving loving we love you back thank you girl uh, keep up your good work and uh, keep up the good work e everyone else thank you we we really appreciate it it means a lot to us yes. And like I said again, if there's anybody out there that needs, you know, that support, if you're going through something similar as I am or like what I'm going through, I mean, there's... Reach out to us! Yes! Or, or don't. <laughs> no, for real. So we have so much coming up and we're not going anywhere, whether we post a video, one per week, one per month, one per year, we'll come back in two years, we are still going to be here just thanks to that one single share thanks to that one single comment like we're still gonna be here even with thumbs down until next time ingeniuses sitting at the couch sharing our intimacy and our lives yeah <laughs> okay let's move on to the goofy stuff until next time bye